back to UC Star Astrology's. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is going to be the general horoscope reading for Taurus. But before I start to share what the stars have in store for you, I would like for you to listen to this brief message from this dangerously sexy pirate. Arr, and ahoy there! Subscribe to UC Star Australis and let astrologer Cindy help you coordinate sailing with the stars to your destiny. She is a sexy, funny, entertaining astrologer with a lot of gold nugget information that could help any sailor or landlubber on their journey of life. Subscribe, like, share, and order a horoscope and learn about luck and love, money, and karma. Arr! Arr! <laughs> What's up, buttercups? <laughs> you know, I really do, I really am learning Tai Chi Sword. I believe it's called Form 38, <laughs> in case you were wondering. Okay, so let's get into it. This is going to be the general horoscope reading for Taurus, June 2018. So dear Taurus, we have Sun, Gemini in your second house. ka -ching, ka -ching. This is going to be an uh, easy then for you to um, earn money. This is where the money is flowing. Your focus is on earning money. You may be feeling um, like you're getting a lot of, um, you're communicating a lot. Hmm. Now, it is in Gemini, and Gemini and things that have to do with home, and it could be like you're hands on trying to, um, trying to, um, get things done at home, uh, communication, trying to sell you. This is like good energy to throw a Tupperware party or um, maybe you get invited to a Tupperware party and you win some things, you know, to enlarge the, your, your, the things that you own. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so um, you may also be feeling like your your friends, your co-workers, your people that you're going to do some course with or um, your younger siblings are, are are communicating to you how they how they really cherish you. So you're going to be feeling very cherished by these people, a lot of communication with with neighbors and yeah. So on we go. And also this is good to make money online if you're into online sales and and marketing, affiliate marketing. This is also really good uh, for that. Venus in Cancer is in your third house. Okay, so it's been there since the 19th of May. So this is definitely also Venus to do with money. And the, like I said, third house. So you have this double whammy of making money through online. If it is has nothing to do with online, it's having a lot of communication, harmonious communication online, um, being uh, very flirtatious online. If you are single, this is your time to get your flirt on and meet someone online or through the neighborhood. You could go to the neighborhood bar, whatever, <laughs> the neighborhood pub, and you can meet someone. Um, it could even be through the family, through your younger sibling meeting someone. But it's very harmonious with younger siblings and neighbors and people that you're going to courses with. This is also places that you could learn or get to know someone that really strikes your fancy. <laughs> okay, so then we have the 12th of, on the 12th of June, Mercury enters your second house. And 
that's even more that's that's even wait wait no mercury enters your third house okay so you have you have then Mer venus and mercury um in your third house okay cuz okay yeah that's just one day where they are together in your third house so this is going to be extremely flirtatious um, something is going to happen here with the energy. Venus leaves uh, the next day on the 13th of June into Leo. But you have both of them in one constellation. And depending on what planets are in here on your own birth chart, you know, something's going to go down, 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 down. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I tell you once more before I get off the floor. <laughs> okay, so um, definitely a good day to 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 really flirt with someone, and it's going to be if you are single and you get you're getting your flirt on. You c it could be some kind of a, a very deep emotional feeling like this person gets me, you know. Um, yeah, so that's definitely this feeling with the beginning of the month with Venus and Cancer. The only thing is that Venus is opposing that Saturn. So you may have this feeling like you're getting involved with someone and that it could be very long lasting and it has that like, oh, this person gets me and everything. And that's the same thing like Meghan Markle and Prince. Um, Prince, now why can't I think of his name all of a sudden? <laughs> Everyone's like, I'm sure, yelling it at me through the screen. Um, Prince William and Prince, have I gone on, Harry, <laughs> Prince, <laughs> Prince Harry. Okay, so, yeah, they got married while, while, um, Saturn is in retrograde, and when it goes forward, then yeah. Mm. So you may be feeling, you may be feeling like you met someone while Venus is here. You could be feeling this, but as soon as as soon as that Saturn goes forward, you don't know how you know how it depends on the synastry, how strong the synastry is. Because there's going to be some kind of a bump and when, when Saturn then goes forward. Either you survive that bump or you, or you don't survive that bump. Whoever you're getting involved with now, okay? As soon as Saturn goes forward, we'll see whether it lasts or doesn't last, okay? I'm curious about that too. Um, then we have... On the 13th of June, a new moon in your second house. Now, hmm, there may be during the time when there is no light, when the moon is void of light, you may be feeling like someone is being very insensitive towards your feeling. You may be, you may have this notion <laughs> or someone is being rude, someone is being insensitive in how they're communicating with you and you may feel that they are not really cherishing who you are. And then when when the moon starts to grow two days later, some new beginning is going to start. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> I'm worried about that one too as a Gemini. Um, so we'll see what happens, but the the new moons are always pretty dark, and then and then the um, two days later something something happens. Now the thing about full moons, full moons are a little bit different. They almost seem the same as new moons. The full moon is what you get, is what what you reap, is what you get. That's the full moon. Whatever you've been doing, whatever you've been uh, putting your focus on, your thoughts on, because the moon has to do with your thoughts, whatever you've been reaping, and um, that's what you're going to sow when the full moon. And you, you usually feel that, you know, 
um, two days after the full moon, something give, something happens around the full moon, but then you feel it more like two days after the full moon. Um, and that's the difference between a new moon and the full moon, okay? Full moon, we're all emotional, and it always depends on where that full moon is and what next to your natal planet. So that's definitely the feeling that I've gotten over and over again. Okay, new moons are never a time to go out on a date, even though um, if you go out on a date, you're going to feel like they are not cherishing you. Okay, they're taking you for granted or something like that. Uh, and then on the 13th of June, Venus goes into your fourth house of emotions and family and love. Um, this is definitely the house uh, Leo has to do with your um, with feeling romantic, wanting to um, go out on a date and have entertainment. And you may be feeling that, you know really intensely because Venus is then um, conjuncting that north node so it's going to be really hot and heavy it's like inviting that person to come into your home candlelight dinner and watching <laughs> Netflix really hot <laughs> Netflix or whatever okay and that's that kind of energy here when Venus enters Leo after the 13th of June then um, another thing with this energy it it's really good energy for home-based businesses okay um, this is also really good of wanting to beautify your home wanting to renovate your home or your car um, spending a lot of creative time with the family, you know, giving all the people in your family a, a something to to um, paint the walls with, you know, painting, painting the inside of the house with the family, <laughs> letting the kids draw on the walls. Okay, so, um, yeah, and then on the 18th of June, Neptune goes retro in your 11th house. Hmm, it's like, your rose pink colored glasses come off in regards to friends or how you are making money you know this is um yeah so there might be some kind of a bump <laughs> in regards to friends okay it could be butting heads in regards to spirituality issues okay um, secrets may be coming out Hmm. Um. <laughs> you could even be finding out that some someone from your uh, some a friend from the past comes in your life, or a friend is finally letting it out of the bag that they like you. That's also very possible. When you find out the truth, maybe you thought they were just your platonic friend all of, and all of a sudden they shared to you, you're really sexy. Can we be more than just friends? <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> okay, so then on the 21st of June, we have Sun in Cancer. Sun in Cancer. Sir, this is uh, in your third house, a lot of focus being put on communication with the family, with the cars, having to do a lot of focus on the car. Hmm. Um, yeah, a lot of maybe um, traveling little short distances a lot with the family. And like... <laughs> getting all the kids in the car and sardine them in the back seat so y'all can all go to Walmart together. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so, so y'all can all go to see some kind of um, film or something. I don't know because the third house also has to do with media. Not much entertainment, but 
media communication, sales, <laughs> going door to door and selling TV guides. <laughs> okay, so 26th of June, Mars is going retro in your career house. Hallelujah. Hmm. Now, you're probably already feeling there could be some people or even a boss that you're conflicting with. And you're having difficulties with some, it could be either um, male figures or, or bosses or someone from the government or police officers. These higher officials may be getting on your nerves. Something is happening. Another thing that can happen is losing face. Losing your credibility towards higher authorities, losing your um, reputation. So be careful what you're doing, okay? Hmm. This is happening in your 10th house of career and reputation. Um, but it won't last forever, but it's going to, I don't know, this is going to, this is going to last for about a month or so. And South Node is here, so you definitely were already feeling this since the end of May when Mars entered um, uh, Aquarius where that South Node is sitting and the South Node is, <laughs> and Mars is not really good energy together. Feeling, yeah, just feeling, you may be feeling like, you're wanting to be a go-getter and you're wanting to go forward in your career, but something is holding you back. And you may be feeling whatever you're striving for is just like feeling like it's all going slow motion and you're having to put so much effort into it and nothing is giving, nothing is happening. But whatever you invest your time with while Mars is going in retro, as soon as he goes forward, you reap the benefits. So... Don't fret about that. Just keep continuing to do what you need to do. And, um, yeah, so if you feel like you're having difficulties um, making a bigger network circle, you know, for YouTubers or whatever to make your career big, and you feel like it's going nowhere, just continue to do what you need to do as long as you're not wasting a lot of money during this retro time. But as soon as Mars goes forward, you will reap the benefits, okay? For all the hard work that you did while he was going backwards. The only thing is it's not a good time to change your career. It's not a good time to start something new in regards to your career while Mars is in retro. Because as soon as he goes forward... Whatever you started just comes crumbling down. It, it is good just to, to be working. Whatever you're doing, just, just continue working your way forward. But nothing new. Start nothing new. Then on the 28th of June, we have a full moon in your ninth house. Now again, whatever you've been working you 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 reap you sow what you've been reaping is that <laughs> you reap what you sow <laughs> okay there i got it <laughs> you reap what you sow with this full moon in your ninth house so in regards to your connections your your uh with people and who are professors higher officials government officials policemen uh, attorneys doctors okay uh, your reputation with them. Whatever you've been doing, now you're um, reaping what you've been sowing. Okay? Um, yeah. Um, this also is the house of higher education. So if you've been doing a lot of good work at school, then you're probably then going to get some kind of a, a certificate that you finish the class, okay, within within a month after the full moon. It's definitely showing that you're you're reaping what you sold, okay, in regards to higher education. And so if you're at university or taking some kind of a course, this full moon is going to give you what you deserve. 
On the 29th of June, Mercury enters Leo, your third house of communication. Lots of flirting that went on. And a lot of contracts, some kind of contracts. Now, um, Mer this is really, really intensely strong. You're going to feel like you're getting bombarded <laughs> by lots of, lots of emails. A lot of people wanting to flirt with you if you're single and you're on an online dating service at the end of the month it's just gonna be like a, a volcano of it's rain and man hallelujah you know it's the volcano just gushes out all these men and then and then they just start to rain down on you you know all in heat <laughs> Now, I have to say that because Leo is a fire constellation, and I just thought of a volcano, and the North Node, the North Node and Mercury together, this is, this is, this is, you know, what I, <laughs> what goes through my head. Okay, so, yeah, this is going to be very intense. For you, a lot of loving, a lot of flirting online, a lot, a lot, a lot. And especially because Venus and Mercury are here. Ooh, baby. You got it hot this month. <laughs> so, hugs and kisses. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, goodbye.